I'm going to show you how to customize this invincible football poster. Right now I have up my poster and the image that I'm going to add. Um, first I'd like to show you some things about this particular poster. It, this poster has some adjustment layers on it. This photo filter, this brightness and contrast, and this black and white are on are going to be adjustments that can be done to the photo that's added and it can also be done to this football stadium with this clipping mask. You've got three for the football stadium and three for the added photo. These adjustments definitely work with CS2 and 3. Um, with, I know with Photoshop 7 you when you open the file you get an error that it doesn't read it and basically it just ignores it so you can't use them with Photoshop 7 but you can still use the template you just can't use these layer adjustments. I'm going to go ahead and highlight where it says your photo here so that my new photo will go in right above it. So I'm going to highlight my move tool here and drag my photo in. I'm going to put my photo, drag it over to the corner, take my arrow shift while shift is pressed down and drag it out and then I press enter and then I'm just going to arrow with my arrow keys to position my picture where I want it. Now right now the brightness and contrast and photo filter is turned on so you can see that my picture looks a little bit different it's a little bit more yellow than the original because those are turned on but if I come back and I turn off these adjustments, then the picture looks the same. I'm going to go ahead and turn them back on. And you can adjust these and play with them so that you can get a truly customized poster. Um, you can even click, double click these and change the intensity, the density. You can change the color. So you just need to play with these however you want to make your picture look good. Now if you had, now this stadium has a lot of red to it, so let's say you had brought in a picture that had a more of a blue uniform and you didn't want the red stadium, then you might want to change the stadium to black and white. Add stadium, and then you go right above it and you turn that filter on, and then it looks has a little bit of a brown tint to it. Unless you turn off this photo filter, then it goes to straight black and white. You could keep, leave it like that, or you could even change your photo to black and white. Turn this off. And then the entire thing is black and white. Um, you probably want to turn this off too because it has a little bit of color to it. This is our, just basically the definition for invincible out of the dictionary. You can change any of this text on this template to anything you want. This is just a glow so that you can read the type. You highlight your type tool and you just come in and change this to whatever you want or you can turn it off if you don't like it. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and go back and look at this full size. So I click on my zoom tool, alt to unzoom and I'm going to change it back to color and change this, turn this off so that it'll be colored. Okay, now this also has layers for the dark edge and you can turn off this layer on the bottom. You can also turn off the stadium and just have the football player. Again, I'm going to shift, I'm going to alt and come back because my picture isn't large enough to have that off so I'm going to drag this, shift drag to make sure my picture's big enough. and I like to get it just right. Press enter. Then you can also change any of these words. So let's go back and zoom in. And let's say I don't want this to say invincible. I want it to say football. And you can see that it's not quite as big so you can just make this bigger by expanding this. If you have a older version of Photoshop, you'll have to use this arrows or you'll have to type in your number here. This 
that only works on the newer versions of Photoshop. You can also increase your font and then move your text around. You can change the name of your player. You can change this text on the bottom. You could put any saying down here that you would want. I'm just going to change it to fall. And then I'm going to increase the size so that it fits. And you could put the name of your football team. You can just pretty much customize it any way you want. So it's a pretty fun template. And that's all there is to it. We hope you enjoy the template. And if you have any questions, just give us an email or send us a message at easydigitals.com.